today after this video you will know how to create a stacked area chart in Google Spreadsheets. Alright, what is an area chart? It's actually quite similar to a line chart in that it can track one or more data series and it's particularly useful to showing changes in value. Now a stacked area chart goes even further by showing the relationship of parts to whole. So in this case we show the distribution of labor force by gender, so you show the employed number of women and the employed number of men to the total labor force over time. So as you can see, since the 1950s, the number of employed women has been steadily increasing, peaking in about 2000, and leveling off since then. Alright, how do we go about to create a stacked area chart? Well, in this example, our first step was to go to the Bureau of Labor, Labor Statistics, where we were able to download the information that we need. So in this case, this is the monthly number of employed men ages 16 and over since 1948. And we were able to do the same thing for the number of women. Now, any time that you create a chart in Google Spreadsheets, you want to make sure that it's formatted correctly in order for the chart to be created. So let me show you how we went ahead to create these charts. So the first step is we want to make sure that in the first column we have the date. So here we have it beginning in January of 1948. The next columns would be the data that you want represented in your chart. So in this case, we actually want the numbers represented as a percentage. So how did we get there? First, we pulled in the data from our previous two tabs of the number of employed women and the number of employed men. At that point, we were able to figure out what the total labor force is by summing up the number of women employed and the number of employed men. To get the percentage, we simply took the number of employed women divided by the total labor force and we did the same thing for the men. So as you can imagine, the sum of these two would equal 100% because that makes up the total labor force. So at this point, you're actually all set. All you gotta do is highlight this data range and click on insert and select the chart option. At that point, your chart editor box pops up and you can go ahead and click on more under recommended charts and click on area. At that point, there are three options for you and you would select the second option for the stacked area chart. If you click on that, you'll notice that a preview comes up and at that point, you're pretty much all done. All you gotta do is customize your chart so you can insert your title here. So we're going to add in distribution of labor force by gender. You can make adjustments to your legend, the font. In this case, I'm going into the axis section and I'm going to remove the titles here. You can add titles if you'd like, but in this case, I feel our title is self-explanatory. So I'm removing the titles. And at that point, I'm happy with this chart and I'll click insert. At this point, if you scroll up to the very top of your spreadsheet, you will notice that your chart has been created. At this point, if you'd like to move your chart to its own tab, click to the right hand button here and click on move to own sheet. At this point, the end result would be just this, which is what you saw earlier today. All right. Go ahead and start creating your stacked area charts. We'll see you next time.